What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel. I had to re re retake, remake this video because something went terribly wrong with my iPad. I don't know what the hell happened, but we finally got, got it back up and running, thank God. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about the, the WrestleMania rumors of WrestleMania being cancelled and my thoughts on Samojo turning babyface. So let's kick it off with just that WrestleMania canceling. Now, the last time this happened to us is actually what is actually, I actually have it on, on, on my laptop here. It was actually the, it was the, it was actually with what happened with Owen Hart in 1999. And for, and according to what Wikipedia said, um, Shout shouts to Wikipedia. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna like read everything. I'm just gonna like. I'm. I'm just gonna like read like different set like different sections of what happened to him. So so it says here on on May 23rd, 1999, Hart fell in Kansas City during during the pay per view Over the Edge, which I think was the first pay per view of nine. Uh, which was the which was the first pay per view after WrestleMania 15. Um, he was. He was in, in in the process of being lowered via a harness and grapple line to the ring from the rafter in into the ring from from the rafters of the Kemper Arena. Now is being now is known as the High V Arena, but for some reason, but he um, he was actually in he was supposed to have been scheduled for a match with the Godfather for the Intercontinental Title. No, and his character was the Blue Blue Blazer. Um. But but for some reason, um, but 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 for some reason, I guess at on uh, Sunday Night Heat, bef just mi just minutes before before the pay per view, um, he uh, apparently apparently he uh, he he landed chest first on the top rope, and f and he had fell seventy eight feet on. Literally landing chest first onto the top rope, um, and unfortunately, they and unfortunately, out of out of controversy, they decided to um, they did they decided to continue the event, which was absolutely which was was which was absolutely fucking pathetic. I I would say, um, but if you why but if you do watch that that pay per view on the WWE Network. It will, it 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 will say this, and I quote: "In memory of Owen Hart, May 7, nineteen sixty five to May twenty third, nineteen ninety nine, who who accidentally passed passed away during this broadcast." That I think honestly, they did. I I think I I think in in my opinion for that, I think they did a real a real good job by by letting by letting us know. It was an it was an it was an accident. It never meant ne you know never meant to happen, and you know and all that. I just don't think that that they should have continued the event. I sh I think they should have just can canceled it. But then but then on the next night, uh, a s but all right. So let's see here. It says a special episode of Raw's War that aired on May twenty fourth, nineteen ninety nine, the night after after Hart's death. Um, it was dubbed. Known as Raw is Owen. Basically, it was a broadcast that 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 was dedicated to his life, his career, his legacy, and all of his accomplishments. And this took place at the Kiel Center, what was known as the Kiel Center, now is known as the Enterprise Center in St. Louis, um, which in, which included um, which included interviews from. From members of the entire WWF at the time roster, um, um, and um, there were so many different people that you know that gave you know that spoke about this. Obviously, obviously the entire nation of domination, uh, The Rock, Mick Foley, Mark Henry, Vince McMahon, uh, JBL as well. Austin, Val Venus, Test, um, as well. And if you guys don't know who Test is, he was once known. He 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 was his actual name is Andrew James Roger Robert Patrick Martin, who um, who went by the name Test. 
um, who, who, who passed away, like, a, an, I think a little over a decade ago or something like that. Um, you know, and, and obviously, um, obviously from Jeff Jarrett, the Godfather, you know, whatnot. Um, and then during that match, dur during that show, um, there was a match that f actually featured the Intercontinental title. Uh, the same title that, if I remember right, was actually worn by Owen Hart himself. And Jeff Jarrett ended up defeating the Godfather to win the title, if I if I remember correctly. But my thoughts on WrestleMania being canceled. Um, if you guys are wondering why, though, it's actually because of of the fact that Flo Rida has not responded to WWE. There's been reports saying that saying there there's been reports on on you know from I I, I think from P from PW Insider, uh, uh, Rus uh the Wrestling Observer. You know, and so many different other sources. There's been reports saying that, saying that Flo Rida is has been busy on tour, uh, and, and he's gonna be and he's gonna continue his tour, in throughout all of 2020. Um, there's also been other reports saying that that um, that this is going that this is gonna be one of these one of the worst WrestleManias ever, and they don't want to make it. They, they they don't want to make it any worse than than it was last year because there were ex literally 16 matches on that card. You know, if you guys saw if you guys saw my prediction video and my result video, dude, I was looking at that card like holy fuck, they did this. You know, and there's been rumors going around as well saying that if it does not get canceled, there will be 20 I I believe there's going to be 20 matches on the card. Each one, each one, I think is gonna be like only two minutes per. Which, no, it does not need to happen. <laughs> I'm saying it now. Um, but um, I think honestly, um, I wouldn't if if I was if I was management, I wouldn't have canceled. I would not cancel. I would just continue WrestleMania and go for it. Just bring in, you know, bring in someone. To perform, you know, someone that the fans love, you know, whether it would be Pitbull, uh, Cardi B, at, at least, you know, Cardi B, it could be anybody. Um, but then again, it might not get canceled because we already have the 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 Hall of Fame ceremony already uh, already scheduled. We got NXT Takeover Tampa, excuse me, uh, scheduled. We have the final SmackDown before Re WrestleMania uh, scheduled. <gasps> Schedule and we also have the Raw after WrestleMania as well scheduled as well. Uh, so they it, so it might not get canceled, but we will see um, when we do when we do start the road to WrestleMania at Royal Rumble weekend. With that being said, here my so now if you so if you guys saw saw Monday Night Raw this past Monday, if, if you guys saw saw Raw this past Monday, you will know that Samoa Joe has turned babyface. If you if you if, and if you guys are wondering why, the main event for for that night was Seth Rollins versus Rey, Rey Mysterio for the for the I cannot speak today um for the for the United States title and that ended in a in a in a disqualification because the AOP knew you know had a suspicion that Rey Mysterio was gonna win that match so they so they just attacked him. Forcing a disqualification, so, so, so Mysterio is still the champion, but by but by DQ, and Seth had told AOP to put Mysterio through the announcers table. Joe did not move for shit. Did not move and told AOP and Seth, "Hey, I'm gonna sit here, do my job. I commentate. That that's my job." And says and mmm, bruh, bruh, <laughs> shit got, ooh, shit got real right quick, because Seth Rollins, we're like, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, we'll leave you alone. Turns around, looks at, I, I think was it really Acom, I think it was, I, I, I think it was Acom, and she said, take him out, puts him, puts Joe through a table, thus he become he 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 becomes a baby face. Um, <laughs> my thoughts on it. I think it's a great idea. I think it, I think it was a great idea 
for them to make Samojo a babyface because Seth, Seth Rollins had just became heel. He had just became heel, so it would make sense for Joe to become a babyface. There's rumors going around saying that he's going to return to in-ring competition around the around Royal Rumble weekend. I believe. I think he's going to be entering the Royal Rumble. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure on that, but um, I think it's a great. I think it's a great idea. It, it, it'll be it'll be a great way for WWE to showcase who Samoa Joe really is. You know, on commentary. And I think the last time he was ever a babyface at all, not just in WWE, but in wrestling entirely, was his was his NXT debut. And then when he was a part of the of the TNA Impact faction known as the Aces and Eight. Not Aces and Eight, uh the main event mafia. So with that being said, again, my thoughts on it. I think it's great, awesome way for WWE to show to show you know to show the fans you know, that Joe can be the hero that that they want him to be. With that being said, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links will be down in the description below. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out. And happy holidays, everybody.